and we're rolling. Hello friends, it's Miss Natalie coming to you live from my home to do story time with everyone. And with our regular story time, we always begin with a song. So if you know this song at home, sing along with me. And if you don't know, then just laugh happily along with us. So our first song today is the classic Bread and Butter. Here we go. And you all know this one. So first we have to clap our hands. We put them on our lap. Clap our hands on our lap. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Makes me so tired. And now for the next one, we always have to do the opposite of slow, which would be fast. See if you can keep up with me. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. <laughs> that was really good. So now let's try our favorite one where we have to sing fast, but we have to be really quiet. So now, let's just get into our second song, because I think after that one, we're warmed up, we're ready to go, and I have a good morning song, and it goes like this. Way up in the sky, the little birds fly, while down in the nest, the little birds rest. With a wing on the right and a wing on the left, the little birds sleep all through the night. Out comes the sun and the dew drops away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds say. <sighs> That's a good one. Make sure you really flap your wings with that last one. Okay. Now it's time to get down to business, and I have our first story here, The Fly, by Peter Horchek. Here we go. All these little flies. Here we go. Here he is. Two googly eyes, six hairy legs, and two transparent wings. It's me, the mouse fly. But people don't like me being in their house. Ah! See what I mean? What is this thing here? To go after this fly? <gasps> the fly swatter! Look at him down there. He's after me already. And it's only breakfast time. Oh, see, there's our fly. He's on the ceiling. Oh, there he is with that fly swatter trying to catch him. What will happen to him? I hope he stays safe. Well, after breakfast, I do my exercise 156 times around the lamp. Keeps me fit. <laughs> oh, but then it's time for a snack. I don't mind sharing my snacks, but he doesn't want to share with me. Oh, there he goes. That was close. So our fly, he's going outside through the window. Oh, where is he now? Oh, what kind of creatures are these? Cows? What does the cow say? Moo. So this fly loves cows. Before lunch, I always visit the cows. I think they smell lovely. Mm, pretend you can smell some good cows. Ooh. But the animals don't like me. I don't know why. There's our little fly. He's swishing his tail, the cow is. Oh, hopefully he can get back to safety. Oh no, once a frog nearly ate me. Then a bird nearly caught me. 
both in the same day. Why? Well, I got go back to the house for lunch. I like my meals on time. So do I. Oh, he could have cookies for lunch. A giant cupcake for lunch. Uh-oh. Ah! Here we go again. Oh, no. I can never understand. Pop, pop, pop. What all the fuss is about. Pop, pop. <sighs> Even when I find a good place to rest. Uh-oh. Right here on his head, the fly landed. What's going to happen? Crap! I still get into trouble. Ah! <sighs> As you can see, my life is not an easy one. I'm just a simple creature. I mean no harm to anyone. So if you see me, please be kind. Maybe we could try that if we see a house fly. But hey, don't close the book. Help! Don't squash me! Oh. And now I have another fun song for us after that book. And we have to start with our arms up high. And it goes like this. Watermelon, watermelon, papaya, papaya. Bananas, bananas, fruit salad, fruit salad. Let's do it one more time. Watermelon, watermelon, papaya, papaya. Bananas, bananas, fruit salad, fruit salad. Hmm. Speaking of watermelon, I have this delicious book about the watermelon seed by Greg Pizzoli. Hmm, I love to snack on watermelon too. Let's see. Here he is, our little crocodile. I love watermelon, he says. It's the best. He even put, what number is that? Well, one, because it's that good. It's the best. Here he is as a teeny tiny baby crocodile. It's always been my favorite. There he is as a baby. All that watermelon. I eat it for breakfast. I eat it for lunch. I like a big salty slab for dinner. And I love it for dessert. There he is. Eating watermelon ice cream. I love watermelon. Here he is. Uh-oh. I don't know if he saw that seed. Oh. He saw the seed. I just swallowed a seed. Oh, no. Can you make that scared face, too? with an exclamation point. Here's that watermelon. It's growing in my gut. Soon vines will come out of my ears. Oh, he's really scared. My stomach will stretch. What color will his skin turn? Pink, like a watermelon. I don't want to be in a fruit salad. Can you find our crocodile? In our fruit salad. Ah! <laughs> Somebody please help me. Oh, his belly is grumbling. Oh no, I can feel it growing inside me. It's happening right now. My stomach feels funny. <laughs> seed. Whew. Nothing to be worried about now. He says, that was too close. No more melon for me. Never again. 
what is this giant letter here? An X, meaning never will he eat watermelon again. Well, maybe he'll eat one teeny tiny bite. There it is, just a small bite. But oh, all the watermelon. <gasps> the end. Well, thanks for joining me. See you later. Bye.